Good afternoon, co-students, fellow teachers, and to our beloved President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Since the outbreak of the coronavirus in 2020, Filipinos have suffered greatly. Over 1 million compatriots were afflicted by the virus causing a near collapse of the Philippine health system. There were news of patients dying in the parking lots for lack of space in the hospitals. Entire families and communities are locked down as a measure to stop the spread of the virus. However, such measures stopped the economic growth of the country, causing loss of jobs and livelihoods, forcing the government to subsidize a large part of the population divesting precious financial resources to combat the virus. Which resources without the coronavirus could have been used to promote economic progress, giving better livelihood to opportunities of the Filipinos? We are facing dark and difficult times. However, there is a glimpse of hope in that the government has painstakingly procured vaccines from all sources as a la lasting measure to die decisively and finally stop the virus. These vaccines were already tested and found to be effective against the virus. If at least 70% of the Filipinos are vaccinated, regardless of the brands, the country can achieve herd immunity, meaning that the virus will be stopped from spreading, which in turn will allow the full opening of the Philippine economy. This will give livelihood opportunities to a lot of Filipinos. It is the duty of every Filipino to combat this virus by having ourselves vaccinated so our country can recover from this dark and difficult time. So I say to my friends, classmates, and countrymen, let us fight together. Let us rise together. Let us beat this virus. Let us vaccine.